pain. Uh, mainly I hung on to the horse and he didn't seem to mind. Because I spared him the reins. Oh, turn it on. I got so distracted by my silly joke. Oh, 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 you can see that beam. That beam that I said was there and lost. It's very faint, but it's right here. I used to be able to see it way up here, and maybe I will on on the velocity images. Oh, and then it shoots off this way too, and that bugs me. This one bugs me. This one says, okay, what the hell are they doing? Because the next thing out that way is uh, Greenland, I think. No, Iceland. Rakovic. That's pretty funny stuff. Kind of reminds me of Jaft. Dropped from an airplane, so... You can't quite tell what to shoot the missile at because you don't know where the nucleus of that confusing radar echo is coming from. And boy, I wish I could have seen that develop that too. That's a hell of a nor'easter. That's what brings up such snow that no one can move. There's a... Well, I just made an assumption again. The assumption was that as that thing goes out and it gets wider, it's because it's leaving. And as I've tried to say a dozen times or so, I can come up with at least one good explanation for why it's inbound, even though it gets thinner as it gets to it. But it involves an energy beam coming from space and a satellite recording it that's lower than the source of the beam so that the beam comes past the weather satellite and it looks fat because it's close but again we're getting that one o'clock eleven o'clock nature all across the United States I think I just got the impression that these beams have different frequencies. 
certain that in some of the images, there are different colors even.